Hey everybody out there in the Y.O. universe, this is Survivor 2002 coming at you again from the Secret Lair in Virginia. And i got to ask you something, America? Seriously? Really? Okay, last <laughs> result show. Michael, Scott, and Matt in the bottom three. Hello? Is, is, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? I mean, wow. What is this? We're going two steps forward, 19,000 steps back. What was up with that? Scott scampers back to the safety of the couches. Megan doesn't even blink as far as wondering whether or not she's in the uh, bottom three. And Matt almost goes home? Really? What is going on out there? Okay, I know part of it is the hot tattoo chick vote, and it's not like we haven't been to that rodeo before. Uh, <coughs> Nikki McKibben. <coughs> but um, at least with Carly Smithson, the girl could sing, and she really had some talent. I felt for sure she was going to make it into the final three in that particular season. She didn't, but hey, she's still doing fine anyway, which is great for her. And I, at some point, will have to hear what she's been putting out since she's been off the show. But I don't know if it's a combination of the hot tattooed chick vote and the fact that maybe Matt's voting base thought, eh, you know, he did really good with Let's Get It On, so he doesn't need the extra votes. People, people, people. You should have learned by now there is no such thing on American Idol as an extra vote. As Ryan has beat it into everyone's brain cells a billion times, if you have somebody that you really care about in the competition, get on the phone and vote for them like there's no tomorrow. Vote for them like you voted for Obama, as a matter of fact, because you don't know. They could be going home. And, you know, let's just be honest and, and get to the nitty-gritty here. With the exception of Adam, Allison, and possibly Danny, everybody else is going to go home at some point in this competition, some sooner than later, and with Megan, it should have been a hell of a lot sooner, let me tell you. But all that aside, you know, get in there and try to keep your favorites in as long as you possibly can, because there is no such thing as a safe bet when it comes to this competition. That is what is the most obvious thing about this season so far. The most predictable thing is the unpredictability factor. We don't know what's going to happen next week. My bet is that Megan's finally going to get the, uh, get the boot next week. But hell, I don't know. It could be Lil. It could be Scott. In fact, more than likely it will be Scott because I think the hot tattooed chick vote will still keep Megan in. So you know what? Let's just say it's going to be Scott next week. I'm not even going to bother with Megan. She'll probably ride all the way down into, I'll say the top five, but no farther than that. Then again, what did I just say about unpredictability? I could be wrong. I've been wrong at least uh, two or three episodes before, so why should this be any different? In any case, um, yep, that's our shock factor for this week. The fact is, you just don't know what's going to happen. And that really is what keeps the whole thing interesting. So we'll see. And with that, I will holler at y'all later on next week after the results show, which is going back to the normal times, thank goodness, performance Tuesday night, results Wednesday night. So until then, y'all take care, and I will talk to you soon.